Good morning. So the Philadelphia Federal Reserve Bank President Patrick Harker voted or said indicated yesterday in his speech that he would be in favor of skipping a June hike at the next FOMC meeting. So the probability is there will not be an interest rate hike a hike in June, not a hike, a hike in June meeting of the FOMC. It's probably a lower possibility or probability, even though last week it was running at 53% chance of a June hike. What there won't be this year is there won't be a reduction or a drop in interest rates by the Fed because core inflation is running too high. Now, some of the viewers are saying that I'm too pessimistic. Um, one of the viewers said, I got all my predictions are wrong. Um, another viewer who's a colleague of mine says we should buy in. It's a bull market. The market's going to reach all time high. I'm not pessimistic and I'm just telling the facts of being objective as it is. Markets are high and I will tell you what my prediction is. My prediction is that the markets are going to fall and they're going to fall significantly. That does not mean they're going to fall today. It doesn't mean they're going to fall on Monday or Tuesday. I'm not predicting exactly at three o'clock on Monday afternoon, markets are going to fall. Now, I don't have that power. I've got as good a guess as yours. I've got some years experience behind me, around about 30 years experience. So I'm using it. I'm basing my prediction on my experience. So I expect the markets to fall significantly. Meanwhile, yesterday, the uh, Congress um, passed more or less the vote on the uh, debt ceiling. So now it's going to go to Senate vote. The debt ceiling is going to be raised and there's going to be about $4 trillion spent in the next two years to the 2025. The next crisis is going to be in 2025 and there's going to be another $4 trillion of debt added on by then. So by 2026, 27, you're probably going to have the debt ceiling at anywhere around about the 36, 38, about $40 trillion in the US. How are they going to pay that off? Anyone's guess. They'll probably just print a load of money and just wipe off the debt. Now, if you're looking for a prediction and you want me to commit myself, then I would say that Israel is going to attack Iran. It's already preparing for that. Now, Iran has got enough enriched uranium to make five nuclear bombs, and that will rain terror in the neighborhood. Israel is not going to allow that to happen, and they're going to strike at Iran. As a result of that, there's going to be a Middle East war. Hezbollah is going to get involved, because Hezbollah is a proxy, is an agent of Iran. And then Hamas is going to get involved, because Hamas is also an agent of Iran. And you're going to have all the terrorists in all the neighborhood going up in a globe in a Middle East war, and that will impact financial markets. That will impact all Oil will go up. So this is my prediction. There will be war in the next few weeks. Oil will go up. Uh, gold obviously will go up as a safe haven. U.S. Um, the U.S. Treasuries will be sought after. And of course, you're going to have equity markets that will drop. Now, how much of it will they drop? Who knows? 5%, 10%, 15%. But obviously, if there's a war between Israel and Iran, then markets will drop, equity markets will drop for sure, okay? So that's my prediction and you can hold me to that and we can monitor it as we go forward. Now, moving on to financial markets, the debt ceiling is going to be raised and yes, we're going to have a situation whereby the markets will rally on the back of full agreement by the by the um, by the House and by the Senate that everything's going to be fine, it's all going to be signed off Everything's hunky dory. Markets are all happy. Yesterday, all the markets went up. Uh, Bitcoin went down. The US Treasury yield went down to 3.10 year, went down to 3.61. Um, slight bit of a dollar weakness in the market, especially against the pound. The pound seems to be pushing up there. So, as far as daily foreign exchange markets, you've got a bit of pound cable strength uh, on the back of probably rising interest rates in the UK that's going to happen at the next meeting okay so everything looks hunky-dory in fact commodity prices have come down as well uh, copper and the main commodities are look like they're trending down and that will have an impact on inflation assuming there's no other geopolitical or cataclysmic events that will happen now Overall, everything looks absolutely fine. But when I look at the market, I'm looking at fundamentals. And those fundamentals at the moment 
don't look particularly good. You've got a rotting commercial housing market in the US. Okay, that's only in the US. I'm not talking about other places. Just in the US, the commercial property market is in a very, very bad way. There are companies that are walking away from their debt. And we're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars in commercial property debt, okay? per mortgage, not talking about a few thousand dollars, okay? That's gonna impact the banks and that's gonna cause a major banking crisis because these banks have now forked out or given credit of mortgages to the hundreds of billions of dollars, okay, trillions of dollars, and that is now gonna be wiped off. Certain areas, as I said over and over again, I keep harking on about this, the certain areas have lost 30 to 50% in values and they can't be sold. So they're either gonna to have to convert all of those buildings to residential to solve the shortage in residential property. As a result of that, that will, uh, that will alleviate the residential arena. However, it will push prices down as more property becomes available on the market okay so you've got a potential residential drop of 25 30 percent prediction make a note of that let's see where that goes by 2024 so anyone who wants to say i don't make predictions or my predictions are wrong and put my neck on the line saying residential property will drop by tw end of 2024 by the end of 2024 by around about 25 to 30 percent commercial property will be down by 70 percent by mid 2024 there are no buyers of commercial property just take that into account as far as stock markets are concerned you want a prediction i think there's going to be a 30 percent correction as phil my colleague says the uh, markets climb a wall of worry that's right however we're peaking out here and the valuations are well above where they should be and just based on the valuations we're talking about a major correction Okay, so uh, that's it for now. I don't want to harbor on all about the markets, keep you bored to tears. You can share, subscribe, you can comment. Um, I'll be doing a uh, Instagram live today at 2.30 UK time. May Valensky with Driver Markets. Everything said in this piece is, of course, a opinion only. So don't sue me. Have a good day.